Hello everyone, welcome to CSGO Weapon Mechanics Guide. Once or twice, when you wanted to buy that favorite weapon of yours in CSGO, you might have wondered what these stats exactly meant. But being the great gamer you are, you didn't care what these meant as long as they brought you kills. Well, for those of you trying to become a pro CSGO player, learning these game mechanics could help improve your game sense. Let's start off with the most basic one, the base damage. The base damage that the game displays in the buy menu of a weapon is the damage that would be dealt to an unarmed opponent to the chest and the arms. This damage would be reduced if the opponent wears Kevlar. I specifically mentioned chest and arms because the game treats the player model differently. In CSGO, the player model is divided into head, stomach, chest and arms and lastly the legs. Each of these parts take varying damage values. The chest and the arms deal 100% of the base damage. For example, the AK has a base damage of 35, so it deals around 35 damage to an unarmed opponent to the chest and the arms. The damage modifiers for various parts of the player model are shown here. A damage to the stomach can be more deadly than the leg when the opponent has no armor. And of course, headshots are the best. This damage can be reduced by wearing Kevlar. Kevlar, however, reduces the damage to the chest stomach and arms. The helmet extension in the game reduces headshot damage as well. Your legs however will remain unprotected and the damage taken would not be affected by the armor. Let's talk about the damage reduction that the armor provides. In CSGO, every gun has an entity called armor penetration. The damage dealt to an armored enemy would be equal to armor penetration percentage multiplied by the damage that the same enemy would take if he or she were unarmored. Here's a spreadsheet listing all the armor penetration values. The links are in the description. Let's take the AK for example. In my experiment, the AK dealt 35 damage to the chest of the opponent without armor and 27 damage to the chest with armor. In theoretical calculations, AK's armor penetration is 77.5%, which means since the gun deals 35 damage to the chest, it should deal 77.5% of that damage to an armored opponent, which is equal to 27.125, rounded off to 27. Keep in mind these damage values are measured at minimum range and I have not taken range into account. Let's take a look at the Glock. Its base damage is 30 and that's pretty good for a pistol. But when I tried it with armor, the damage just goes down to just 13 damage from 30. Well, the armor penetration of Glock is a mere 47.5%. 47.5% of 30 is around 14. At the range that I was, it did 13. Now imagine that at mid-range fights. In CSGO, the damage drops off at range. So yeah, that's why this gun is trash. It has a very bad armor penetration. But if you take a closer look, I said before that to the leg, all guns deal the same damage without an, with armor. So it means I would deal around 75% of 30 which is 22 damage to the leg with a glock even if the enemy is armored and that's pretty good for a glock considering the 13 damage that it does to the chest so if you are very bad at headshots make sure to shoot the enemies in the leg during pistol rounds as a terrorist if you are using a glock that will kill the enemy within five bullets at a minimum if you're not struggling with headshots then obviously go for headshots they are better 400 percent of 30 is a lot Taking a look at this spreadsheet, you can roughly estimate which guns are good and which ones are not. Armor penetration shakes the weapon real good. Here's some basic chest damage values of weapons with armor. You can take a look at them and decide which gun might be good and suitable for you at specific rounds. This is why just looking at the basic base damage would not be enough to judge if a weapon is good or not. Armor penetration needs to be taken into account since many rounds include uh, players buying the armor first. The damage that the Kevlar itself takes would be the rest of the damage that armor penetration did not reduce. Which means if AK's penetration is 77.5%, 22.5% would be the damage that the Kevlar would take. Which would be 8 Kevlar damage if a player is shot in the chest with an AK. So if I shoot an enemy to the chest and assume that the enemy is invincible, the Kevlar can take around 12 to 13 bullets before breaking. So keep that in mind before buying armor every round. You don't have to buy armor every single time. Since it deals 8 damage per shot, which is 22.5% of 35, to the chest, having around 40 armor 
in the start of the round which still keep you alive if you shoot the enemy in time. There is another parameter that affects the damage which is the range modifier. Basically bullets deal less damage at a distance since these bullets slow down just like in real life. But in CSGO the damage drop off is calculated using this formula. The range modifiers for all weapons are defined by the game and the game calculates the damage that should be done at range using this formula. The lower the value of range modifier, the lower the damage at a distance. Range modifier values are all less than 1, which means if the distance is greater, the entire value would decrease. Max 7 and the Sword of Shotguns have a range modifier of 0.45, while the Nova and the XM1014 has a higher range modifier of 0.7. This is why at range, the Nova could be more viable in comparison to the Max 7. So when you fire a bullet from that gun of yours, the game takes into account the damage fall off, the damage percentage values to the body parts, the armor penetration percentage of the gun that the bullet is fired from. Everything taken into account, the damage is calculated. And that's all you need to know regarding the game's weapon damage mechanics. But it's not over yet. Regarding weapon mechanics, there's accuracy, inaccuracy, recoil, range, and many more terms. And more on that will be covered in the next video. For now, the damage is all you wanted to know and the damage is all you need to know. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button for more CSGO stuffs and I'll meet y'all later. See ya.